out, folks, tonight. Well, we're getting the bar ready tonight, so we're just kind of we're kind of getting everything perfect for. Her. Well, enough said. Basically, it her and him and Reyes are having a tactical meeting. Just them, and I'm like, this is this is a date. And me and Bugs, me and Bugsy are just kind of like, just cleaning everything in the bar. And you know, we finally get to use that private booth. Um, we got installed in here. <laughs> you don't even want to know how much that fucking thing costs. <laughs> like I passed out, like literally, like this, this, this the cost alone of how it, just like. The building material alone and how much that costs. I was like, oh god, please, please stop it. I don't, I don't want this. But yeah, so we got everything, we're getting everything together with sweeping. So Bugsy and I are not really doing much, right? I mean, we are doing a lot, but that's why we weren't doing a lot much in the way of content this Sunday. Now Monday, on the other hand, Steve and Nuke, we're going to be doing all that stuff. We're going to be dealing with, like, Steve and going into people's minds and shit, and it's going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, so that's why we're not doing much content. I even got some of my imps running, doing, doing some cleaning. How do you, how do you, I mean, you're technically not the overlord anymore, so how do they still follow you? Because I can rip them, I can rip the souls out of their bodies and shove them in the goats, of course. Shit, Bugsy. You say you ain't evil. <laughs> well, basically they're my, basically they're my minions, so I can do whatever crap I want. I mean, really, there's no union laws on imps, so. <laughs> but while that's going on, um, we just. Again, I'm just sitting around hoping that some Sonic fan might say, Hey, wait a minute, this is like 7 a.m., wait a minute. Nope, didn't even say nothing about him. Like, I guess I should just take sauce on the fact that I'm the only one that freaking thinks this way, and I should just be happy with that. I guess. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I think you should. I, I mean, it's something that we both came to... We both came to the conclusion together, so, like, what's the point, you know? Buddy, what's the point? I know, but it still pisses me off. And to deal with that other thing, which again, ugh, kids tip on dating. Here you go. A government's dad can probably be a little bit of a, you know, little bit of a, mm, but you gotta deal with it anyway if you want to see your girlfriend come, if you want to see your girlfriend come, come see you. Eh, shit. Anyways, I didn't want to talk a lot about that, but shit. <laughs> but hey. Hey, uh, on you think you can pencil me in for a, uh, for, for like an app, for like a Wednesday afternoon session? Sure, I got, I always got time for you, bug, so, you know, do whatever. Good. Um, mostly because I've been having, like, weird dreams, and I think they mean something, so I'm gonna need your help on that. Alright, no problem. But, uh, you know, sorry, but like, sorry guys, we haven't been doing a lot. <laughs> Bugsy and I have been just kind of, you know, fucking around, just doing doing whatever, but we were just kind of thinking about, like, Sonic Set AM and all this other stuff, and, you know, just stuff like that, and basically, basically, um, Sonic Set AM stuff, and... What else? What else, my brother? Um, just prepare, just 
finishing, just doing the finishing touches on our forever rivals. Again, sorry we weren't doing a lot. And then we saw Naruto online. But it's like one of those browser based ones that are just so limited. It's one of those browser based games that are so fucking limited. I mean, I know people are probably not gonna make a full MMO like they did with Dragon Ball Z. But, like, fuck. Why can't they? Do, 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 do. Uh, you know, I miss the days. I miss the days where I just could legitly relax. <laughs> what do you mean, legitly relax? With no worries, man. I remember. Kind of missed the way. Kind of missed how me and you were back in the day. I mean, dude, we didn't have to worry about anything. Look at me now, wearing like a motherfucking hairless chihuahua on prom night. <laughs> if anybody gets offended by that fucking joke, I'm going to smack somebody in the goddamn head. I mean that shit. <laughs> like an anime band at prom night. Fucking... People, grow some... Grow a spine. So I have that Naruto online thing. It's like one of those browser based ones. You know? Not like the ones like Family Guy. I mean, I don't know why they took that down. That was actually fun. Mm. You know, I don't really get that either. I mean, someone needs to like do some sort of server. Do some sort of revives her to actually bring back Family Guy Online because like I don't we only got like halfway through one of the freaking missions. Yep. You know what's gonna be really cool? What? Dead mm -hmm. and then Bugsy. I think next year will be the year where we don't worry about shit. What makes you say that? I think, I think, what do we think we'll be looking up? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, let me go see how you're actually doing in the kitchen. Be right back. Uh. So yeah, guys, we're just helping out. Um, we'll probably again. We'll probably see you guys tomorrow because, like, really, this is an undertaking. We actually even had to. We actually even had to like. We actually even had to make like a special room for the booths because we have more than one now. And I was like. You know, it just feels weird to give people to have this bar and I have more booths. And I was like, no, no, it's too costly. And I was like, eh, it's what we need. And he's like, no, it's not what we need. I'm like, yes, it is what we need. And we just kept going back and forth and then boom, more booths. But, yeah, with that said... A lot of people are wondering uh, when will be my when when is your next anime review? I will totally take on Sakamaru and take him to freaking to take I'll take him to freaking Cradland. I was like, oh god, no! But like seriously, um, like guys, my anime reviews take time. Depending on the episode, depending on the depending on the subject matter, depending on a lot of different factors, I uh, but I want to freaking do my review on uh, Classroom Assassin since I think it's almost done, and that will be my next review. I wanted My Hero Academia, but like I keep on like saying I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm just 
doing my old routine. I say I'm gonna do something, but then I, when the moment the truth arrives, I like do something else. I finally got myself motivated. I motivated myself to freaking see Rama Forever Rivals for the first episode to the end. Again, you'll you'll like the little gags in it, like just the way he just one shots uh the way he just one shots all Rama's rivals at the time is just pretty funny. I actually wanted to just I wanted I kind of wanted um, DB to be a reference machine. <laughs> like, he'd just make random references to certain shonens and various other things and One Piece and all that other stuff. Actually, I was actually going to make a little bit of a kind of... I was actually going to kind of make a little bit of a gag with uh, Kuro Sensei. Like, he starts saying things that Kuro Sensei would say. As well, just little gags. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that's really even gonna make it in. But, you know. But a lot of people were like, Bugsy, will you do any other crossovers? I think the only crossover I'm actually even going to do. I think the only crossover I'm actually even going to do is like Street Fighter because I feel like Street Fighter even though a lot different than uh, Rama one half I feel like they have some stuff in common and I could probably you know use that like maybe that should be the movie like just the Street Fighter uh, crossover movie like we get like I can't put Bison or Shadow Lou because then I'd have to explain where this is actually, where this actually would take place in the Street Fighter timeline, and you know the timeline's already kind of fucked because uh, five takes place after f five is before four, and I don't understand how that's even fucking possible. So yeah. So I feel like they shot themselves in the foot. When there's other stuff that actually is, which is after freaking Street Fighter 4, and they even have Absol, like, the freaking dude, it's like, you're the one that saved me. Then I'm, then I'm like, when does this take place? I'm telling you, the Street Fighter timeline is a very confusing mess. I, I like, really, it is a very fucking confusing mess. I actually, X freaking Digi Valentine. I saw Digi. He'll tell you some. He'll tell you some things. <sighs> you know. But I don't know. Maybe just maybe something with Ryu, Ken, and Akuma. You know, there are like various similarities between Ken and DB. And uh, Ryu and uh, Ron at a different point. So yeah. Um. Because I do like the deconstruction idea. Folks, and yes, I am doing a little bit of padding, 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 padding for the update video. How absurd! So yeah. A lot of things are gonna come a little bit, a little bit, a little bit slow, a little fast, and um, I want to also say, I also say there's gonna be two, there's gonna be three days in August. Uh, you won't be seeing a video from me. I want to tell you guys up front, so then you guys will go, "Where's Bugsy? Are you dead?" Because I know a lot of people's fans and a lot of my fans will probably like, "Bugsy, where are you?" We need you to rant on such and such. We need you to talk about such and such. We need you to talk about this. There will be video. There will be videos, but uh, there's probably only going to be one. So don't expect. Don't don't expect a hell of a lot from me. On by those three days, when those three days are technically up, it's back to business as usual. Also, 
If anybody liked my friend, celebrating a story history of twenty years. And if anybody liked my friend, uh, if anybody liked my friend Victor, you know, even though we didn't like talk so much about fucking um, Sonic, and I really apologize for that. You know, that's the thing about Victor. He goes kind of a mile a minute, and then he talks about something else, and he talks about something else, and he talks about something else, and he talks about something else. And there ain't even nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I wish he wouldn't cut me off so many times, but you know, he, you know, I think. You know, he hasn't been on a lot of videos, so he gets kind of, I think he's a little bit nervous. So, I think that's the reason why he was talking so much. But, it's not, he, you know, he's not a bad person. He's actually pretty cool. I've talked to him a whole bunch of times. He's not a, he's not a bad dude. He doesn't, you know, he's, he's like me and the fact that we both despise fucking Keemstar. Like, I, I despise him because, you know, you guys know why I despise GameStar. <laughs> why am I getting so much hate? I don't know, GameStar. You acting like a freaking, you acting like a teenager, you acting like a teenager with his dress blown up in the wind. I don't know why you get so much hate. Maybe because you're a work, maybe because you're, maybe because, maybe because, GameStar. You dox people, you fuck with people, you basically will take anybody's, you take anything anybody says to you in confidence, and you fuck with them, and you just act like a, and, you know, take the DDoSing and other stuff away, you act like a pouty bitch. Makes you stronger, bitch, you shouldn't be proud of the shit you do. Let's get right into the news. I'll be like, let's get right into your face, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's the that's the fucked up thing about freaking um That's the fucked up thing about fucking Keemstar's stupid self. Like, you don't even think he's wrong. He's like fucking Jared the Fox and all these other motherfuckers I deal with. Where they're trying to do something good, uh, supposedly, but they don't think they're doing anything wrong. And that's what I hate. Like, seriously, like, you know, Keemstar, Jeff for Justice, and freaking Jared the Fox don't know the difference. The real, true difference between right and wrong. You know, and that pisses me off. Now, Jared the Fox, he's really gonna have trouble with any kind of thing, really. Because, you know, he dude just doesn't understand actual, factual human emotion. Why people will stick up for other people and all this other shit. But then want to freaking, then understand why I felt like he, him as hacking one of those freaking white knights was, was a bad idea the way he did. You know? And Jeff for Justice, he's this dude with dude will literally. I think the dude would literally suck dick for views. If 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 that was even possible on YouTube, best believe he'd be right there. He'd be right there. Yeah, doing that. A lot of people still want me to rant on Gohan Team Fighter like. Guys, I'm not really gonna rant on Gohan Team Fighter. There's a lot more important people that actually that are actually worth my time, and he isn't really. He's gotten better, and like you guys want me to tag him, you guys want me to like rant on him because he, um, he talked about Dragon Ball Super, and like he's not gonna play Dragon Ball, um, Xenoverse. Well, not all the characters from Super, even though there'll probably be like a few from Super. And he won't play him because he doesn't know about freaking Dragon Ball Super. But I hear the dub, the English dub is in production, so, you know, stupid, um, I'm sorry, no, no. Go on Team Fighter, I'm, I'm not going to basically, I'm not going to call him stupid anymore. Because I don't want to freaking, I don't want to try and antagonize him. You know, so he's going to get his little wish. To basically, he's gonna get a little wish to watch um, Dragon Ball Super with the English subs, with the English dub on. Where we're like, what? 
Like, we'll be like, we're like, what, about five, fifty episodes behind him? Like, he's gonna be way behind, but like, I don't, I don't care. I, I don't want to watch the uh, Japanese dub because I, I, I don't, I don't feel like reading. Hope he doesn't get on me. I hope he doesn't get on Victor for like talking about like what he supposedly may have. But like, no. Hope that doesn't happen. He's either been, he's either been Victor. He's actually been, a, he's been actually a good pal. He's been a good friend to me. So, you know, I gotta, you know, so I'll help him in any way I actually can. Actually, you know what, um, he has a fan character, he's making, like, he does have, he does have, like, a little story that he's been writing, um, I'll probably put that in the description, uh, so you guys can look at that, because, you know, I kind of owe him, so. And if you all know, as you all know, me, me and Anzakamaru have the family name Kuro. And we kuros, we pay our debts to people. We always do. This is how it is. But yeah, let's see what my, let's see what my freaking, let's see what my freaking, my favorite YouTuber known as Alpha Omega Sin, what does he think about Sonic Mania and Sonic Pro Project Sonic? Going strong, Sega announced not one. But two brand new Sonic the Hedgehog games at this year's Comic Con. We're talking about Sonic the Motherfucking Hedgehog. You know, the coin collecting, animal saving, Eggman defeating, Super Mario Brothers rivaling, and glitch enduring, unfucking fortunately, character that swept the nation. Back in the 90s, it was all Sonic the Hedgehog. Every single motherfucker knew about him because it was all about blast processing. Motherfucker was fast as shit. I mean, we all, because, yeah, we all was blast processing around here. You know, maybe I should do some more Sonic videos as the as the uh, Sega Kamen Rider because, you know, you can't get enough of the old Sega Kamen Rider. I've been kind of thinking, should I still do the Sega Kamen Rider, even though... My friend is not around anymore. Yeah. I still think about it every now and again. Like, literally, like, legitly, still freaking cry whenever I see Family Common Rider. And for that one split moment, even though it's like a double, uh, looking at, you look at just it's like, the back of his head and stuff, it's not really him, because, you know, he's dead, but. For a split second, it's like I got, I got. I've said this before, but it's like that split second I got to see my friend again one more time. And you know, like I said, that was that's basically all I really wanted. But enough about that. Let's let's go to Alpha Mega Sin here. Let's let's look at his video. This is fucking awesome, cool. the little Sega popcorn thing that Sonic's all bouncing around inside. I was like, all this shit, the physics seem to be a lot better than they were in previous games. Like, a lot, a lot better physics in a Sonic game that has new moves that's actually in 2D. That, this is what Sonic the Hedgehog 4 should have been? You're fucking kidding me, because Sonic 4 was a goddamn fucking travesty. Literally, just another thing added to the list of, what, like, why, why would you do that? Why would you okay that? Why would you just, like, yeah, green like that shit? Because you shouldn't. But it was cool looking at the little intro that they had leading up to this. Talking about the story history of Sonic the Hedgehog, showing the Sonic Adventure games, showing the, showing the Sonic the Hedgehog, the regular Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, because all of my European fans out there are like, what the fuck about us? Then the whole thing of like Sonic R, which, you know, I, I have a love for that game, but man, it controls like fucking complete ass. It's like a tub on wheels and shit. Like, why do you control this way? Oh, guys, I'll be right back. Hold on.
it's so fucking fun. I mean, that was the big thing about it. And the music that, oh my god, dude. The I'm back, guys. Anyway, let's I was just this. Sitting there like, this sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic music, but I mean, this shit was fucking killer. This sounds like old school Sonic the Hedgehog music brought up nowadays. And I would say the Sonic Advance games also have really pitch of music and level design and get looked over. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I want to say one thing about Melting Man. Like, yeah, this Sonic Mania is total fanboy bait, but I'm still going to play it. Uh, it's the, I'll give, I, I'll give shit a chance. It's kind of what I do, you know what I mean? But, you know, and I understand the Happy Tree Friends writers have not been doing, you know, really good when it comes to the modern Sonic writing. But, again, the trailer I saw made me, just instilled some hope in me. Hope I thought was long gone. You know, some, you know sometimes... You know, sometimes you just need to hope things are get better. They may not, but sometimes you may get lucky. Like, why are they so overlooked? I, I do not understand that. I really don't. Sonic Advance games fucking play this. Most people are like, man, it's like our sex. That's like a big old barrel of death. Like, yeah, no shit. That fucking DK on the... Trust me, everybody always says, oh, Bugsy, but, you know, you love Sonic. What about Sonic 06? I'm like, Sonic 06 was a motherfucking travesty. Do you have to repeat it? No, 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 no. But uh, it, probably one of my friends' friend is like, so you like Sonic, right? What about Sonic 06? I'm like, motherfucker. Most of us Sonic fans want to forget that game ever existed. But bung little bungholes like you trying to bring it up, you know, trying to make us remember some shit we don't want to remember, like in some repressed memory shit. <laughs> Like, it's some, like, far-gone, repressed memory, you fucking assholes. You know, we all know. We all know it's bad. We all know 06 is bad. So, for the rest of you that aren't Sonic fans but want to bring up 06, please, if you, if you, if your friend's a Sonic fan and doesn't like you bringing it up, please, you, if you are not Sonic fans, Please, please don't bring it up if you have, please don't bring it up unless you have something agile construct, something agilely constructed to say about 06, like there is any, but still, fuck, get tired of that shit too, and seriously, if you want to keep bringing up Boom in 06, fuck you, there's other stuff in Sonic's catalog games that are actually pretty good side of it because you know it's just fucking like dick killer but still this, this shit play those games right there in the sonic rush games and all that shit but still this feels right at home the fact that this is like pay paying homage to all the classic games because you get to see green hill zone like i said it's going through all the old school games and adding in a bunch of new shit and now that you have new moves and you get to play as sonic tails and knuckles. I'm hoping that there's some unlockable. Nipples and the enchilada. Sorry. And I noticed that, like, at the end of Green Hill Zone 1, they took Dr. Robotic, and usually he's got that little fucking egg carrier, floaty ship, whatever the fuck. Eggomatic. Big ass ball that's when you have to go and jump over that and you got the two platforms. Well, they switched that shit up, and now it's like two destructive balls of doom, and I can't say all this shit without testicle jokes coming to mind, but all of you get your minds <laughs> and just toss them into the fucking gutter and just get out of here. Yes. Go on. Just. Blue, blue blur, blue ball testicle, just, just fucking do it, just, everybody. I, oh, okay, okay, it's an alpha since you asked. Okay, like seriously, what is with Eggman and balls? For the love of God, Eggman, we get it, we get it. We know you, we know you, we know you like balls, we know you like testicles, that's why you're trying to get, that's why you always be messing with Sonic, because you know you need, you want his invisible his not see through testicles you want them we know it's just you, 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 you're letting your own little sick perversion bleed into your work it's creepy 
You know, you just go over like, I need the testicles. The testicles are mine. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientist in all the world. I'm not going to be the one that has blue balls today. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, let's get to it. Let's, let's fucking get to it. So we're, we're, we're just like, you know, two sides of the same exact point. Now, then, it wasn't just that. They weren't just content with that. They also brought up the whole product song, which doesn't have an official title yet, but it is being made by the studios that brought us Sonic Killers and Sonic Generations. The two titles I kept on telling every fucking person out there, I'm like, you know, the, the, there are some shitty Sonic games out there, but there's also some phenomenal titles. Oh, no, there isn't no such thing. Uh, 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 no. Sonic, I mean, Sonic Generations. They'll be like, no, no, shit, there isn't. Is good? Dude, dude. Look at them be like, no, there isn't. Sonic is just this because the fan base is like this. I'm like, motherfucker. I'd be like, motherfucker, say that to my goddamn motherfucking chaotic face again. Say it in my face. Because I will tell you something. And this is, at this point, I got his shirt. I'm like, I'll tell you something. I'd rather play a whole bunch of Sonic games than Call of Duty. Than, than fucking Call of Duty in any other rehash game that tries to do everything over and over and over and over. Same formula over and over and over. And you could say Sonic does the same thing in terms of story. But at least the gameplay is always going to be different. It always changes up. But you assholes just always think, oh, since... I don't want to give the Sonic fan base a try because all the Sonic fans are cringy. You know, you don't have to be in the Sonic fan base to actually like Sonic. I hate how, and now they're like, oh, we got a 2D Sonic game. Come on, Sega. We got a freaking game that's like Sonic freaking generations. Come on. If you guys are mad about that shit, leave the fandom. Leave the actual fandom. Leave, leave Sonic as a franchise because we don't need you. Okay? We don't need you. Fuck, bring, you know, if you really, if you really want to say, think about what it is to be a Sonic fan. Tap into that. Don't do this fucking, like, don't do this shit where you're like, I don't know if I want to stay, if I want to stay after Sonic Boom. Then don't. Fuck. You act like you have to stay. If you don't want to, you don't want to. I just humbly ask, so I'm trying to take people down with you just because you're unhappy. Because you're unsatisfied. You know? That is what I hate. Like, seriously, guys. If you want to go your separate ways with Sonic, I ain't gonna stop you. I'm not. Because it's your choice. But, like I said, don't be, don't be a fucking dick about it and just reevaluate. And if you still do want to stay because you still love this blue head dog, explain, like explain in the, you know, to yourself internally, why do you like Sonic? What keeps you coming back? You know, explain to me that, and then, then you'll probably get the picture. You know what I mean? No, no idea. idea. Unless you sat down and enjoyed that, that game, game, you were doing, you were doing yourself, yourself a disservice. It was one of the best platforming games from last generation. generation. Play that shit. Go and pick it up. If I'm not mistaken, is it on Steam? Like, you can go and get it right now. If not, get it for like 360 and PS3 or whatever fucking goddamn platform system that you have. But this. I need this shit. I fucking need this. And what was cool about it was it had. Modern day Sonic, you know, what they ended up getting from Sonic Adventure going forward. And then they had OG original Sonic the Hedgehog running around with them, just like in Sonic Generations. So I'm assuming that this is going to be some kind of continuation of that universe, where they combined together both the 2D games and the 3D games. And it was one big, gigantic ass game, and I love that shit so much. I was like, Dude, this is fucking cool. Again, I don't think anybody's some... really gonna freaking put it together. I guess I'm the only one. I'm the only one, but, uh. Shit, I could have had chili dogs today. 
Like, really. I just, like, since this whole Sonic thing has been happening, I've just been having the biggest fucking craving for chili dogs. I shit you not. I shit you not. Um, what, how, what time we actually got, guys, that was a work. We were kind of burning through it. But, uh, yeah. A lot of you are probably wondering, like, what else, what else are you basically thinking? About, well, I mean, in regards to the story, I think, I think they're going to try and stop those gigantic robots, but, you know, who knows. Let's see what I've had. That's the last that I've had with the 3D Sonic the Hedgehog offering. And Sonic, Sonic Colors. Colors. I don't know why nobody really played that game. Like, like I did not, not hear about it except for from exclusively the most diehard of diehard Sonic fans. And I'm not talking about Chris Chan, though. I'm with our Chris, 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 that that is like something I don't want to touch with a ten foot pole because you guys want real you guys really want me to talk about that and I'm like this is more about gender and stuff and I don't really deal with that kind of shit. I'm mostly if I'm ranting I'm ranting, but I'm not gonna. I mean a lot of people have already kicked Chris when he was down and when he was up, so I don't. I don't feel comfortable. The only thing I actually laughed at was when he actually went up to GameStop and freaking tried to paint Sonic Boom, Sonic's arms fucking tan. Because he couldn't handle the blue arms. I'm like, that's actually pretty stupid. Profoundly stupid, actually. You know, but you guys want me to dig into his gender and shit. Yeah, he probably had to get, he probably had to get his games from Amazon now, and they like, oh man, I feel so bad. I gotta go back. Yes, I have to go and get all these references in my hand. You at least get to see my brain going like a million miles a minute. So this one is going to come out for the Nintendo NX. That alone, I found to be interesting. So the Nintendo NX, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, all that shit. Oh, man, can't go and I don't know, I might get an NX. I might get an NX. Where the fuck are those at? Seriously, go and bring all those out on there. I think, uh, a lot of people will be happy. Well, it's the modding community, I'll have a fucking deal with it. But this, 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 this. Two Sonic games. Big fucking deal. For this. They, they cleared Sonic Boom Season 2, which I've never even seen Season 1. I'm, I'm more just about, like, the Sonic Hedgehog cartoons. I haven't seen this shit. It might be good. I just haven't taken time to watch it because I'm behind on tons of different shit, but you know, whatever. But watching this, it was all cinematic cutscenes of like, the world is like being destroyed by some big ass hulking robot that's walking around just decimating shit, which looks like this is, this is Robotnik's dude. So it might be, maybe, possibly, this could be somebody else. Work with Capcom and just have Dr. Robotnik and Dr. Wiley working together just like in the fucking comic. God damn it, I wanted this cross for such a long time. But I will take OG Sonic and Sonic Adventure Sonic, aka Modern Sonic. Who am I, dude? If, my, if, 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 it, if it's true, it's true. But if, like, if it, they're not going to do that. But, like, I would like to play a game like that. Fighting Robot Masters as Sonic. Beautiful. Fuck beautiful, it's delicious. Together in a game, and I just fucking tickled people with that shit. That is just fine. But this is something uh, that. Hansakamaru? I, I think that. Are our guests behind us? Hey, it seems that they are. Are. They're not in their booth? Uh, no, Bugsy, they're not. You're the waiter, mother. You're the waiter and the chef, motherfucker. You can do that. Right away, boss, right away. Come this way, you two. I know this isn't really a date, but, but, 
Bugsy and I are still trying to do this video for all of our many fans on YouTube. You guys sit here. Yeah, here. Have some menus. Um, tell me what you want in a few minutes. Me and Bugsy have to knock this out of the park. <laughs> I didn't get that go. Um, Bugsy, like, like, God damn, what is that? I know, right? Man, if you're arguing with me. Well, I'm not arguing with you. Well, I'm not arguing with you. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to let that break. Let's just keep going. This is the best way that they can go about it, is they stop, they listen to fans, and they're trying to give them the best possible games that they can, and they need to. You need to go and rectify past mistakes, and show that you do give a shit about this franchise, you do care about this character, the world does, you should as well. I mean, look, Freedom Planet was one of the best damn examples of how to do a Sonic game the right way. And Freedom Planet was done by a very fucking small studio that is just people that were fans of Sonic. And, I mean, I love the shit out of it. By the way, if you have not gone to try the game I'm gonna out, take it from me. Go and try that game out. Play it. And give it your hard earned And for uh, people that are interested in Sonic Mania, the two of the three guys that worked on Sonic Mega Mix is working. They're working on Mania. So yeah, something to think about for most of us classic Sonic fans that love that kind of shit and love that wrong head to death. And sometimes play Shadow. Great storylines, great music, great control, just fucking everything on motherfucking point. And if the creators ever get to see this video, just know that um, you gotta fucking support it right here. But that, I always said, man, it'd be really cool if Sega just hired them on and ran with that entire idea. Can you imagine that if that shit blew up and then, like, a Sega crossover with that just like, what? Like, that could be extended universe like shit, and it would work really fucking well. How does that work on a Sonic game? I'd love to see what the fuck they do. And considering I got to play that, you know. But if you have somebody who's worked on Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors making the next game, I have 100% that this game will be fucking great. I know that there might be polarizing opinions about colors and about generations, but truth be told, I enjoyed both games through and through, finished both games. I finished generations fucking twice, which a lot of times I don't even get it to go and play a game like the second time around. And I like I... I'm finishing it, and also, I'm also thinking of doing some mods for you guys if, if I can ever get, if I can get Open Broadcasting to work with Steam, yeah, I'm going to be doing mods. You guys are going to be having a lot of fun. I like that enough to go and do that, to me that says a lot. So that means I did like the game a lot, and the idea that they're working on it again, and they haven't actually worked on the Sonic game since, fuck, it's been about, I want to say like, what, three, four years? So it will be nice to see some shit like this, and maybe we can just mind bleach the mistakes out of our head for, but, you know, some stupid shit like Sonic the Hedgehog 4 and Sonic 06, and, you know, Sonic the yeah. So, anyway, Sonic Mania looks fucking amazing, Project Sonic looks amazing, I cannot fucking wait until they develop more details, showcase more gameplay, especially with yeah, I Sonic swear to God, if it is what I think it is with Project Sonic, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like, I'm already thinking that it is going to be that, but if they can confirm it, if it's literally confirmed, my fucking head will actually explode. Folks, you do have two customers here. I know. Um, well, well, guys, uh, we should probably get out of here. I do, we actually do have a few customers, so I should make my presence known, you know what I'm saying? So... See you guys later. Bye, folks. Basically, though, um, me, me, Bugsy, are actually very excited about Sonic Mania, Project Sonic. Bugsy, Bugsy, excited for Project Sonic. I'm excited for Sonic Mania because it is Sonic Four. I'm calling it Sonic Four or Sonic Five, but I'm calling it Sonic Four, the real Sonic Four. This is the real Sonic Four to me. Again. I, I do believe, like, when Buzzy was saying, you know, maybe if they didn't start out with rehashes, this, you know, Sonic 4 would have probably had a third episode, I still believe that. But this is trying to be more classic, and I love it for that. 
So I'll see you guys. So we'll see you guys later. I was like Amari, and I'm Bugsy. So, so, uh, Bugsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, thanks for really doing this. Ah, uh, no problem. You know, you're my, you're my buddy, you're my pal, you're my best friend, you're my best best friend. <laughs> so, let. So I'll see you guys later, and also enjoy. Uh, and I'll say it in the camera. Raising that for on the date in our bar. Don't don't gawk and stare if you try to come to our bar right now, but it's happening. So for most of you that ship this kind of shit, it's happening. <laughs> See you guys later. And oh yeah, more Sonic stuff on the way.